no tampon tax, period. Or question mark, the new law that eliminates the state sales tax on feminine hygiene products took effect today. But when Target 8 started looking into this today, we made an interesting discovery. Jacqueline Francis shows us what she found. Jacqueline? Brian and Sue, check your receipt. That's what the state treasury department told us after we found stores right here in Grand Rapids still charging the tampon tax. How does it feel to not only have it passed, but for it to go into effect? It is now law. It's just a great day. You know, I woke up this morning. It was the first thing I thought this was the day. Or is it? Shortly after our interview with State Senator Winnie Brinks today, we hit the store, tagging along with Emily Beggs, a local nonprofit director who was part of the push to repeal the tax on feminine hygiene products. But when we went to check out... Is that with tax? <laughs> oh, you no. did. You did so then you have to add tax? The system wasn't updated. The store's owner telling us he wasn't aware of the change and that his hands are tied until his supplier tells him to do so. Let's say the grocery supplier told you to take it off and you hit subtotal, what would happen? Then I have to go into the system, take the tax off, so every time when I scan it and hit the subtotal, there's a no tax. So we went to see if this was happening anywhere else. You go ahead. Okay, thanks. All right. Let's go see. It turns out they too were still adding tax. The manager telling us this was the first he's heard of the new law removing the 6% sales tax on these products. That was store number two. Yep. And they didn't know they're still taxing. No. What's your concern right now? Well, my concern is that there's women and, and, and people out who are buying tampons and menstrual products today who are getting taxed, who legally should not be getting taxed. Um, especially we're in a we're in a neighborhood where residents are desperately in need of that 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 help that financial help um, and they're not getting it we decided to check out a big retailer like Meyer and in the meantime notified Senator Brinks's office and the state Treasury Department about what was going on <laughs> How does that feel? That's amazing. That's five years of work, and it's so great to see zero because when I come to the store and have to buy this for myself, or I buy it to provide products for women in need or for period tax for students, there's always all those extra numbers that we have to pay. It's a receipt she'll be holding on to. Total tax, zero. Late this afternoon, we heard back from the state treasury department. They apologized and said they issued a notice in mid-December, letting stores know the law had changed, but they added it can often take retailers some time to get their systems updated. From today forward, if you're accidentally charged a tax on these items, you can request a refund from the store.